We started this tutorial series by introducing Focus software, generating images with it, and creating consistence characters. These images and consistence characters are needed for things like creating stories, comic books, graphic novels, and AI influencers. In this tutorial, I will show you where to find models, and how to install and use them in Focus. Also, I will show you how to create characters with different poses, and change the pose of your characters. Follow this video and future tutorials to learn how to use this incredible software, and don't miss the tips. In future tutorials, I will show you how to use these images in practice. Let's get started. If you've never used Focus before, and want to learn more about this tool, pause this video, skip to the previous video, then come back and continue. The video link is above. You can download different models and get different images with them. A great resource for models and LoRaS is Civit AI. Click on the Models tab above. To save time and find proper models for your work, click the filter to separate models based on your needs. You can filter models based on different categories. Focus Base Model works with SDXL models. I check the appropriate types. Choose the model you want. Below each model, you can see a gallery of images created with this model. When downloading and using a model, don't forget to read its description. Sometimes you can find a recommended prompt or negative prompt, and some settings. Use them for better results. For Windows, when you install Focus, you'll extract a folder with this name. You can download the model and place it in the Focus folder in this path. If you want to install the model in Google Collab, you can use this code. I put it in the description. In this code, keep this part the same and change the model name and model link based on your model. Copy the model name. If the name contains spaces, use the underscore instead. Click here to copy the model link. Right-click on the download and select copy link address. Use this link here. Open the Focus GitHub page. Click Open in Collab. Press Add Code Cell. Paste the code that you want to download the model with. Add another code cell and insert the last line of the code here. This code loads the Focus interface, so we download the model first and then run the software. You can download multiple models. Add a new code cell for each one. Before running the code, press Cannot Save Changes, or click File and select Save a Copy in Drive. Click on each cell and wait for it to complete, then run the next cell. Downloading the model takes time based on your internet connection. When done, you can see the model in this path. After running the last cell, click the link in the public URL part, or this part. You can see the downloaded model here. When you want to use a specific model, you can uncheck the styles. Test with and without styles and see the difference. If you need to change some settings, based on what they said in the model description that I show you on the model page, you can check developer debug mode here and change the settings based on what they said. After generating images, you can click on the history log and see your previous generation settings. You can save these settings and use them for another generation. Sometimes you want to create an image with a special pose, and sometimes you have an image, and you want to change its pose. I will show you both. Write your prompt. Describe the character, camera focus, lighting, colors, and what you want as separate elements for best results. Change the settings based on the image you need. In the image prompt section, upload the image that you want to use pose for. You can download any image from Google or other platforms. I use this one. Tick the advance. Some options will appear. To use the image pose, select Pyra Canny. Increase stop at parameter. Press the generate button. See the results. Generate more images and choose the best one for your work. Press history log. Save your generation information if needed. I want to use the look of this image and the pose of this one. This image has a background and may affect the result. So it's better to remove the background first. Open Remove Background website. You can remove the background of your image freely. 
Upload the image and download the result. Write your prompt. In the image prompt section, upload your images. For the image that you want to use its look, select face swap, and for the image that you want to use its pose select Pyracani. In the first generation, I use the default settings. Press generate button. Not bad. I will change the prompt and stop at parameter, then test again. See the result. Some parts are not good like hands. We can edit them with the InPaint tool. I will show you how to do this in future tutorials. If you enjoy the video and found it useful, like and subscribe. Share your experience with us in the comment. Stay tuned for more useful videos. Thanks for watching.